this, this evening. It's time to flow now. Amen. Well, when revival comes, how, how long are we going to keep on saying when revival Come comes? Yes, yes. How long should we get intentional and say I'm ready for revival? Yes. Right now. Right. Yes. Revival's coming. It's here. It's just waiting for somebody to get on the ship. You know, when you get stuck in a certain place like that man was for 38 years, you don't. So, you, know, you might not feel like there's much moving in life. Because you're unaware of everything else that is happening around you. Because you've been on that bed for 38 years. You've missed a lot. And we can get stuck in our own little place. Unaware of what God is actually doing. Because all we're looking at is the problems. Yeah, that, that, that one's still stuck in that same old thing. Well, let's pray they get it right. You're not praying they get it right. You just like talking about something. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Stuck in that same old thing. Don't realize that there is a move happening. Yes. And you're just not getting with it. Mm -hmm. That's right. This can happen right in the same building. That's right. Where there's a move happening with the person sitting next to you. And you don't realize that there's something moving. Because you're not tuned in to the right frequency. But I want you to know today that if you will get in pursuit, it doesn't matter what kind of problem persists or stands in your way today. God will go to extreme lengths to remove the thing that is trying to curb your path of destiny or stop you from getting to the land of promise. Angel food, quail, water from a rock, whatever it was that was needed to get them to where they needed to go. The only thing that stopped them was they believed a bad report. And God said, well, they will not enter because they are people in whom there is no faith. And so they died in the wilderness. And so I'm just going to close with this thought. That we will continue in circles of defeat. As long as we keep coming back to that same thing. Where I'm in the spotlight. Where it just keeps on coming back to me. Keeps on coming back to my insufficiency. I'll just keep on in that, that same circle of defeat. I'll just keep on wandering in that same wilderness. Over and over and over again. It's not until I can behold the lamb. It's not until I can shift my focus in the midst of that. And realize I might not have the strength to get out of it, but he, he has more than enough strength for me. Amen. Lord, take my hand and lead me out of this thing. The answer doesn't always come like we expect it to. And sometimes it comes very gently and almost silently. Sometimes God needs to shake us out of where we are with a loud voice. But sometimes he just needs to whisper something to us that will move us, that will cause us to step where we've not stepped before. It's kind of funny to think the only thing that's keeping us in circles is that we keep misstepping. <laughs> Amen? Think about that for a minute. The only thing that's keeping us in circles is we keep misstepping somewhere. And when I come back to the place where it's time for a direction change, I keep on misstepping because I keep getting myself in the spotlight. I gotta find a way to take my eyes off myself yes. and put my eyes on Jesus. Yeah. So will you stand with me tonight? If you come back and read us in some worship. We sang that song in the worship service, This is how I fight my battles. Not the traditional way. I fight them with praise. I fight them with worship. And I fight them with faith. This is where we find the victory because the victory is not in us. The victory is in him. The only way the victory is in us is because it's Christ in us. The whole Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. If you thought you got 
got saved and the only report you got was go out and try better? <coughs> well, you, you need to take a retake there. Go out and try harder to see if you can get it right. You only set up for more defeat. I hope that salvation meant you came into contact with something that changed you and shifted you from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. That translated you into the kingdom of Jesus Christ. So that you're not who you used to be anymore. And so now it's not all about me just being the same old me and just going out trying to do better. It's about me being a new man in Jesus Christ and all things being passed away and all things being new. And I'm going out, but I'm not going alone because Christ is in me now. Amen. He's fueling my life. Hallelujah. I'm fit for the fight because I've got Christ in me. I'm ready for what lies ahead. Because I'm not fighting alone. Right. Go ahead, guys. Praise Let's get some worship going here tonight. Thank you, Thank you Jesus. Jesus. Thank Glory to God. Oh. 